Hey guys, welcome in. If you've been following me, then you saw these videos last year on Dynasty Football Factory YouTube channel. Going forward, you're going to see them on the Dynasty Underdog YouTube channel, and I hope you join me for the rest of them. So subscribe and stay tuned. With that, we're going to start with our first film room of the season, Lad McConkey. Super excited to get into this one. Let's jump right in. You're a good lad. First play we're going to look at here is the first play on tape against Alabama. McConkey spins this cornerback like a top. So you're going to see him get up on the DB here at the top of the route. Going to hit a hip shift, little shoulder fake to the inside, and he's going to throttle down and hit outside. And you can see he's going to do this while the cornerback is chasing upfield. Right here you see the cornerback spun around, facing inside, has to turn around and go grab McConkey who's wide open on the sideline, secures the catch. Right here, he throws that hip shift, right? You see his body weight's leaned inside. You see the cornerback leaning upfield to run with that. And he's able to, pretty much in the same motion, throttle down, turn inside, and the cornerback has to flip all the way around, hips all the way around. Look at that amount of separation right there. Look at all that separation. I mean, that's just beautiful work. E -E -A beautiful. And you can see right here, you can see how he's leaning inside, top right corner there, number 84. Throttles down in the same motion. Turns, catch on the sideline. McConkey has the route technique down on these out routes. He hits the same exact move here on Auburn as he did against Alabama. Look, he's getting ready right here to hit that that hip shift, he's ready to fake that inside, that shoulder fake, right there. Right, it wasn't as clean, he didn't get the throttle down as clean in the same motion, but same thing, he gets up on the DB, presses off of him, creates that separation, sideline catch, same thing. Definitely let the DB get his hands on him here, and didn't, like I said, all in one motion throttle down after hitting that fake inside, but still effective. In general, I think McConkey struggles a little bit with physical coverage, and you can see here, DB just takes him right out of bounds. Right, and it, it's kind of an inconsequential play, like Brock Bowers makes up for it, but still, I think it shows up in his game a little bit. Great catch here, bad pass. Just look at the reliable hands coming through here from McConkey. Still uses a little bit of that nuance in the route you can see fakes the outside, and you're going to see this ball come on his back shoulder, has to turn around and grab it. See down here at the bottom, has to turn back, grab the ball, secure it. Would have liked to have seen him get in the end zone there, but still good work. Really nice play from McConkey here, showing that boundary awareness, getting in between two defenders, and securing a catch. You see him pace down a little bit, recognizes that zone, gets in there, right on the sideline. Good catch. You can even see him early in the route. Already leans inside a little bit right there. Basically stacking, but no no true man defender, so no need to actually stack. But he's getting up in there, and then he again puts on a little move, gets outside. You can see the defenders tracking, falling all over the place. Love to see this play right here from McConkie. Look at him release like he was shot out from a cannon, right? He gives that one single move, and then boom, he's upfield. Acts like he's going to try to stack the defender, and then throttles down outside for the catch. Boom. Single move, burst. Looks like he's going to try to get over top of the defender. Puts his foot in the ground, throttles down, outside, leaves the defender in the dust. And for some of the physicality that he lacks, I mean, look at this hand swipe he puts on this guy and throws him to the dirt. I mean, McConkie is an absolutely excellent, excellent route runner. Here's a little swing pass to McConkie. I think it exhibits some of the yak ability that he, he might possess. And it really shows up more in the highlights than anything. I, I don't think he's Cooper Cup level, like agile, laterally quick or anything like that. But, I mean, he certainly shows really, really good route technique. And I, I think that that's going to translate to the next level. All in all, I really like what I see out of Lab McConkie. I think he's a really technical route runner. I think he's a gamer, sticks with plays. He has some ability after the catch, really reliable hands. I think a lot of his game is going to translate to the next level. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the DU Film Room. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.